What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my easy KDP keyword research method. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said in this video, I am going to be sharing pretty simple and easy keyword research method for your low content book publishing and we're going to need a couple of tools. Now, the first one is Helium 10. Now, you're probably thinking... Well, that's great. This is a paid tool, pretty pricey one as well at that. Why would I use it? Well, this is an amazing tool. Nonetheless, I've been using it over the last couple of weeks, but you can even sign up for a free account and use what we're going to use twice per day for free. So I'll get to that in a minute as well, but we're going to use Helium 10, Amazon, and probably the SPT Chrome extension. So this is the SPT Chrome extension and it gives you a niche score. Then I'm also going to use tangent templates. Now you're not going to need tangent templates. I thought I would just use this instead so I can fill in the bot look no so I can fill in the keywords here so you can see instead of uploading a brand new book or going into the KDP dashboard. So one thing I do want to note real quick as well is that there's loads of different ways that you can actually do keyword research. Now, over the last couple of weeks, like I said, I've been playing around with Helium 10, so I've been doing my keyword research a little bit different to what I was doing before. Now, you can use, when you do your keyword research, there's paid ways to do it and free ways. This is a paid way, but also a free way as well, because we can use the tool that we want to use twice per day completely for free. As you're going to see in a minute. Now there's multiple ways to actually fill in your keyword boxes just here as well. You can do long tail keywords. So you'd find something like unicorn coloring book. Let's just do that for kids ages two to five. So that's a long tail keyword. And you could put that in here, one long tail keyword, and you could fill up each box like that or you can do individual keywords. So you could have unicorn, coloring, book, magical, rainbows, and things like that in these boxes as well. Or you can do a hybrid, a hybrid of both methods. So you could fill in some boxes with long tail keywords and others with just single keywords, because no matter what you put here or in the title, subtitle, and in the keywords just here, whether they're long tail, short tail, single keywords, Amazon indexes every single one nonetheless. So I actually prefer to do mine. I fill in with a hybrid method. So I use long tail keywords over here, and then I'd use single keywords over here. So what does that look like? Let's go ahead and just do this. Let's get straight into this because it's already been a few minutes. Now, one thing I do straight away is once I've got Helium 10 open again, if you want to sign up for Helium 10, you can get a discount code if you follow the link down below. Or what I suggest doing is just signing up for a free account. Anyway, the niche in mind, once you know the niche that you want to create the book in, or you've already created that book in, we want to go and look at the other books on Amazon. So for this example, I've just typed in unicorn coloring book. Now from here, I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to find one of the best sellers. So these are sponsored. So I just want to go past that and I'll take this first one because look at that rank, 135 in the whole bookstore. So I'm guessing they're ranked for a lot of keywords. Now, what we're going to do is just take this ASIM, go over to Helium 10. We're going to come to the left-hand side, Keyword Research, and then we're going to use Cerebro. So Cerebro is an absolutely awesome tool. This is a reverse ASIN check or lookup. So what we can do here is plug in that ASIN, which we just got from that best-selling book in the niche that we want to create a book around. So we've got that, we've plugged that in. Now we can go click 
get keywords. So this is where all the cool stuff happens. Because now for that book, which we just found, this one just here, this unicorn coloring book, it's going to pull up all the keywords related to that book. It's going to pull up all the keywords, which they're ranked for number one as well. So you can just do some pretty crazy stuff. So from here, if we take a look, there's 39,000 333 keywords indexed or found with related to this book. Then organic keywords, there's over 17,000. So this is absolutely crazy. Now, if we look over here, this is the word frequency. So right here, we have the 38,000 keywords. Now, out of those 38,000, these single keywords here, uh, from all those keywords. So right here, book. It's found 8,353 times in these keywords down here. And then kids, 4,600. Girls, girl, year, old, gifts. So gifts, that keyword over here, has been found 1,065 times. Now this is important because we can use these keywords as well to fill out some of these boxes. So that's also pretty cool. But now if we go down to here, we can see all these keywords. Now some of these aren't going to be relevant and 38,000 is pretty high. So what we want to do is filter those keywords down to find the relevant ones. So what we want to do from here, we click this advanced filters, we got search volume. So I want to find keywords which has more than 100 searches per month. Now, if we look here, this is the search volume. So we're going to find the keywords with more than 100 searches per month. Then what I want to do is with competing products, I want a 1,000 products as the max, because remember, that's that high demand, low competition. We can find the keywords, which has a lot of search volume. 100 is perfect for books, in my opinion. Maybe not if you were doing FBA, that would be pretty low. But for books, it's not too bad. And then we don't want any more keywords that has more than a 1,000 products for it. So if we look here, Color Books for Kids has 30,000 products. So by doing this, the 1,000 and then 100 over here, we can really filter them down. So from here, let's just kick apply. So we're going to give that a second to do its thing. Da, 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 da. Almost there. Let's just give it one more sec. There we go. So now that's filtered it down to 15,000. Still a little bit too much. So now we want to filter it down even more because if we look at these, we can see that some of these aren't even relevant, but they're actually ranked, organic rank, number one. So Lego Castle Display Case, which is pretty weird. They're actually ranked number one for it. Anyway, let's filter this down even more. So what else could we do? Well, I'd like to find all the keywords with maybe unicorn in them. So what we can do here, show phrases that contain, and then put unicorn. So this can be done in any niche, any niche that you want to create a book in, find that bestseller, come over to Cerebro and plug it in. Because remember, Cerebro, this tool, the Cerebro tool and the Magnet 2, you get two lookups per day completely for free. So if you sign up for a free account, you can do your keyword research like this twice per day. Because if we go back over to here, Helium 10 pricing, let's just give that a second. Why it's being weird. Now if we scroll down to round about here somewhere, if it's going to let me, little bit further there we go black box you get 20 uses i will be making a video on black box as well and that's just for the free account then if we go down to here cerebro and magnet two uses per day on that free account so again i highly suggest just going through and signing up for that free account anyway let's filter this down even more so we've put in unicorn now let's click apply and see what some of these keywords are. So we're just going to give that a second as well. And there we go. So we're starting to get more relevant keywords related to our book. And we're finding it with the high search volume and low products. So that's high demand, low competition, which means 
you're going to find it a lot more easier to rank your book. So look at this keyword, unicorn stuff under $5. So if your book was $4.99, this would be a good keyword. If we look at that search volume, we can see that it's very consistent search volume. If we click on all time, we can see it's just very consistent search volume of a few hundred per month. So you could make some decent sales. So I would actually take this. One thing I would also do is just take that or click that so it opens up in Amazon. And then I'd use the SPT Chrome extension, this one, to see what the niche score is. So all the keywords that I find related to unicorn coloring book, I can check that here. Then if it's a good score, I can then take that search term, that keyword. So let's just give that a second. So let's go ahead and take that just by copying. So that's not working, let's do that. Copy, go over to tangent templates, and then I'd put that in here. So this is a long tail keyword, and I would start filling out all these other boxes. Now, unicorn stuff under $5 might not be one that I would actually target once doing more keyword research, but it's there if I want to. But I'll just carry on going through, finding all these keywords, these high demand, low competition keywords related to my book, checking them here on SP. And if they have a good score, this one's fairly good. So this is a 43% score, the average BSR of 116,000. The average reviews are a little high, but I would probably go ahead and use this. So I'd go back, that's one keyword, we have that in here, long tail keyword. Now I'd go back and find other related long tail keywords that I could use. So let's take a look at this, unicorn puzzle book, nope unicorn coloring boon so there's a lot of spelling mistakes that you will find as well you could target them i don't tend to so right now i can't really find many more so add a unicorn adult coloring books <laughs> so that one maybe but let's go back let's try and filter this down even more so let's put unicorn and coloring and now click apply and then i'd see what now pulls up so let's do that again. Let's take out, let's do that. Apply again, unicorn coloring. We want all the keywords to contain that. We don't have many there. So let's just keep playing, filtering around, trying to find those keywords. So let's take out the coloring. Let's do a competing products of 4,000. Because sometimes I still go for niches like that because it all comes down to your ability on how well you can create a book and serve that market. So let's do unicorn 4,100. Now let's click apply. Just give that a second as well. And there we go, here's some more. So now unicorn coloring book for kids ages four to eight. The Cerebro score is pretty high. The higher the better for the Cerebro score. That search volume gets a lot and there's under 2000. So now I would open this in a new tab and then I'd let SPT do its thing, see what the score is. And if it's a good score, I would then take this. So let's take that, let's copy go over to tangent templates, and then I'd put that in here as well. And I'd just keep going through, filtering around, looking at the keywords, and finding all those perfect keywords that I could use on my book. Now, another top tip, what I do like to do, because right here, this is the reverse ASIN lookup, you can actually go through to Amazon. Let's just close a couple of these tabs go through, you can get all the best sellers. So I would take five, at least five ASINs from the best selling books in that niche. I will take them all, put them all into here, up in the search bar, and then click get keywords. And then you can find even more keywords as well. And then I would just rinse and repeat the process until I have all these keyword slots filled up with high demand, low competition keywords. And Cerebro makes that really easy to do because we can do all these different filters 
and we actually get to see the search volume. Now, the search volume isn't what Amazon gives away. They don't actually give that data. So they're doing a lot of cool stuff on the back end to actually give you this data. But this is what I really like, and this is how I'm using Cerebro in combination with Amazon and the SPT Chrome extension to find my keywords to help rank my books. So very, very simple. Now, again, I use a hybrid. So I'd go through finding all the good related keywords, filling in most of these boxes, and then I'd leave one line or two just for individual keywords. So if we go back over to Cerebro up to here, I would start taking some of these keywords. So like kids, coloring, maybe not toy, um, stuffed, animal, not stuffed, but you get the idea. I can take some of these keywords as well and then put them here in those back ends. So again, that is a really, really simple method. I do highly suggest going through and checking out Helium 10 because you can sign up for a free account and use this tool twice per day. Now, remember, you don't have to do keyword research this way. There's multiple different ways that you can do keyword research. Just find one way that you like and stick to it. I like trying out lots of different things, and that's why I've been playing around with Helium 10, because it's such an awesome tool. But you can just use Amazon, the search bar, and Am Suggestion Expander. So we've typed in Unicorn Coloring Book, and now we've got all these different ones here, and I could go through all of these, Let's just do that so it pulls up more. I can go through all of these keywords and check them on SPT just here and do my keyword research that way. But this way with Cerebro and then filtering down with 100 searches, competing products and put in phrases or words in there that contain that word, you can find some really, really great keywords. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.